G'day guys, Luke here from Tech Blokes, and in today's video we are checking out a really cool new function that came about with the Galaxy Note 10 but is also available to download and install on other Galaxy devices. Now that function is called Link to Windows and essentially what it allows you to do is use all of the functions that you have on your phone on your Windows computer so you can send text messages, you can look at your recent notifications, you can look at your photos, and your phone is essentially talking to your computer without ever having to touch it. Now what's really cool is you can obviously use that on Wi-Fi, but there is also the function to use that on cellular. So maybe you leave your phone, I don't know, at a friend's house, maybe you leave it at work and you still wanna send a text message or check your photos or something like that, you can do that with this new function. Now to set it all up, it's really simple, it takes about uh, three or four minutes on your phone and about two or three minutes on your computer. Now I will just mention, unfortunately this only works on Samsung devices, so you can't install it um, and get it working properly on say like a Google Pixel, um, but once, once you've downloaded and installed the app on your Samsung device, it's a breeze to get set up. Alright guys, so the first part of the process is we want to download this app here, it's called Your Phone Companion. It's by Microsoft, it's a really small app, only takes a couple of minutes to download and install. So go ahead and do that now. And then once you've done that, there's a second application that we need to download from APK Mirror. Now I'm gonna leave the link below, it can be a little bit hard to find this app, but it's called Link to Windows Service 1.0.30.10. Again, I'll leave the link below. Make sure you get this one because there are other versions that are similar that don't work and you need to have this exact version for this to work on your device. Now once you've downloaded this one, you will need to open it and sideload it onto your device. Once it has downloaded and installed, it won't you won't sort of see any apps installed as such, but you will need to swipe down from the notification bar and we're actually gonna add it in here so that you can access it on your device. So what you will wanna do is click on the three dots at the top, click on button order, and you'll see up the top here, I've got link to Windows at the very top. There it is there. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna move that down into our notification tray. I'll just stick it here and click on done. Now you can see that is now in my notification tray, link to Windows. So once you get to that step, the next thing that you'll wanna do is actually open up the first application we installed from the Play Store which is called Your Phone Companion. There are a couple of prompts here. It's gonna take you through setting up and logging in. What I'll tell you though, is you need to make sure that you're uh, logging into your phone, this application here, with the same email that you use on your Windows 10 computer. So if you're not sure what that is, just jump on your computer and have a look in the account section in settings. And just grab the email address that you use there and pop it into this app. Alrighty guys, so here we are at my computer. Now the first thing you need to do is just make sure you are definitely signed into your Microsoft account. So just go into accounts and confirm that you've got the same email address that you use to log into the application on your Samsung device. Once you've done that, you'll need to actually download a new application onto your computer. So just go to the start menu, go to the Microsoft store, and in the Microsoft Store, in the search bar at the top, just type in your phone. Okay, now the application is here, it's called your phone. Click on install, it's about 40 meg, it should only take a minute or two to download and install, and then click on launch. Now what will happen when you're doing the setup process, uh, you'll actually have a prompt on your Samsung device to allow it to authenticate to your computer. Just click on allow obviously and then this will then go through a process of sort of syncing up between your Samsung phone and your computer. Once that's done, you'll get a prompt on your phone that says your phone and PC are now linked and what you'll then be able to do is see things like your text messages and photos. Now it'll only show you the last 30 photos on your phone, which is actually, in my opinion, quite good because it means that there's never like a lag to see all of your photos. You can also see your notifications that are coming from your Samsung device. When you click on open settings for me, it'll actually open settings 
on your Samsung device to show you which notifications you've got currently turned on. Pretty handy little feature actually. Um, I've already set that up, but essentially what's gonna happen is when you get a text message, they'll come up over here on the right hand side like any other Windows notification. So what we can do guys, we can obviously send text messages to our friends and family. So I'll just reply to this one here. Awesome. I'll check it out. Check it out. Thanks. Now what's really cool is when you send one on your computer here, um, it'll also synchronize back to your uh, Samsung device. So it means that they're never out of synchronization. That was kind of always a bit of an issue that you would have with other apps that kind of did this functionality, they'd always be out of sync. Now what's really cool is when I check on my Samsung device here, all of the messages and everything sync instantly. So uh, if, if he were to reply, if my friend wants to reply now, that reply would come through on my computer and also on my Samsung device. So there we go, my friend just replied. You can see it's come through as a normal Windows uh, notification. So I can open that up. There we go, so there's the message there. So then you can send pictures and that type of thing as well. So if I wanted to let him know that I've been listening to the new uh, song by Tool, I can do that too. Alrighty guys, so there we go. That's essentially how you get the app running on your PC. Now there is one other feature I just wanna quickly show you before we end this video. Inside the Phone Companion app is the option for you to actually synchronize across mobile data. Now, this is really handy, especially if you're the kind of person that maybe uh, accidentally leaves your phone in your bag or maybe you leave it at work every now and again. All you have to do is go into settings, go into sync over mobile data and turn that option on. Now, obviously you wanna make sure you're not using too much data or your data plan has a lot of included monthly data. And then this will essentially, any messages or pictures, etc., is gonna sync between the application um, over the mobile data. All right guys, there we go. Make sure you drop a comment, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I've got a whole heap of new videos coming, especially for the new iPhone that's gonna be released next month. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to see for the new iPhone? Please let me know below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked finding out more about the link to Windows option on your Samsung device, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.